Okay, let's continue with this. Um, right, we've resized our image, so we've got him to size. And now we're going to do the text. So we've got the design. We've got the design um, all in the template now, where we want it. And now I'm going to use a text tool here and type a title. In this case, Thailand. And I'm going to select across that and bring up the font size to something a bit bigger and maybe something a bit more um, scripty. That might be a bit too much. Uh, I'm going to change this to anti alias it to a smooth font. And I think I'm going to inject a bit of colour. I mean, Thailand's quite a bright place. So let's uh, make it quite gold quite golden in colour, ok that's quite nice simple gallery and uh, now I'm going to also continue my type so I'm bring some line spaces down here and just type gallery in here remember you can centre it all as well I can select the text and centre it I don't want to get too involved in this as I'm running a um, Photoshop course along with this so I suggest you look at that um, when I've added more to it because there isn't a lot at the moment on there maybe a bit bigger and do it in a kind of grey something like that ok you may also see that at the moment this is looking quite pixelated um, and that is because I haven't got it full size. If we view it full size, actual pixels, and you'll see it's nice and sharp. Right, okay, so we've got basically that's going to be our home page image kind of thing. Now I want a background. So I'm going to come down here to layer one and create a new layer, which I'm going to call um, background. And now I'm going to probably use this Buddha original, so I'll do a duplicate of it. Um, and I want to apply some filters to it. One filter you can do, because I don't want it to look like it, I just want it to have that kind of thing, is come down to filter, distort and twirl. I suggest you play around with all these and uh, see which one you like. So there we go, pretty cool just needs a little bit of modification I'm just going to knock it back there we go got a nice kind of swirl I might actually increase this a little bit as well take it off and run it under everything so I've blown it up there and just run it under all of our graphics I'm going to label this as background image and that's it kind of for the home page so now the next page we're going to start to put our images down here in position so I suggest you now open the images that you've got which should be in the assets folder okay there's my images I've purposely chosen some that are landscape and some are portrait to show you how I'm going to um, change these and affect these now the first thing we need to do is to process all the images obviously they're huge at the moment that's pretty big so we've got to say we've got to choose a size that's going to work. So I'm going to have a look and say, remember our units are in pixels. Say right, okay. Well, I want it to take up. I want them to be about 400. Uh, I'm running from the edge. So 450. Have them coming at 50. So. that's my 400, it gives me a lot of space at the side to put my images 
quite nice. So I'm going to come in here, reduce it down, and select the image and image size, and select the width. Remember, make sure your constraint proportions are on. And set this down to 400 width. Uh, it looks really small there, but it's not. If I drag it now into this layer, this will be 400, as you can see. But we have a problem because it's too big for the top. So I'm going to need to do that again and make it something a little bit smaller. So I'll just delete that layer off. Come back in here and say, OK, let's make it 300 then. See how that affects it. Remember, I want a little bit of text in here. That's much better. So take all your images and process them at 300. So open them up. select image, image size 300 and begin dragging them into the into the picture. You can take these layers and, and drag them I would drag them at the top so they're over the top of everything else. We'll sort all this out later but 300 is going to be our width. Height wise we know we're okay with the height and just continue doing that so you've got all your images in here um, in layers above each other if you want to label them um, you can label them picture picture one go in here label this layer picture two etc and label all these so that you know what's going on if you want to don't want all this stuff in the background then switch the eyes off to to make it disappear so I'll leave you to get all your images to 300 within here and um, I'll come back to you in the next lesson where we'll start to build our gallery navigation this side using these images what we've just got okay see you in the next lesson